these the collars. The collars. And these are the muscles. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I just came on here right quick because I'm getting ready to make some um ginger. So I call it like ginger tea. But um where I and I did it before on my channel where I just boil the ginger, clean it and everything, boil it, and then um I put it in the pitcher and put it in my refrigerator and I drink off of it, you know. I drink it hot like at night and I add my honey to it, you know. So I had got me some. From um, we went to uh, the um, Jacksonville, the farmers market, and the flea market. But I got these from the um, farmers market. And I done started cleaning some of it. See how? That's your ginger. This is some good stuff. I keep it. So here's what I already started um, cleaning. It, you shave it. It's so easy. And then put it in. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these in the water. And um, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean it so you can see. But I just use a regular knife. See that? And you just shave it off. See how it look? I shave it all into there. I know some people just clean it real good and they boil it with it on there, and then they can you can strain it. But um. I just don't be feeling like doing all that. Once once it boil and it's done, I'm ready to start drinking. So I just take my time and I just clean this off. But I don't wash it real good. Mm -hmm. So how you guys doing out there today? Hopefully y'all having a pretty good um, Sunday. So me and the hubby just been hanging out because he was calling to come on here and say hello and hang out with y'all for a little while. Nothing fancy. <laughs> I just have to pop in every now and then and say hi. See how y'all day going on oh, um, this Sunday. I didn't go to church today, but um, being that our church is online also, that's what I did. So on our way to Jacksonville, I had my um, ear set in. So I was listening at um, the pastor. I think this is easier than um, peeling a potato, I think. I didn't cut it up in pieces. Because you can like cut it up and you know, slice it in like pieces and stuff. But I, didn't do it. I just did mine just like that. And I'm going to let it boil. And then it's going it's gonna to form like a whiteness on top of it. And that's when you know that it's um, ready. And then I'll just turn it off and then I let mine sit for like an hour. But I wish y'all could smell this stuff. Ginger tea. But I made it. And I keep this because it's it's a mucus buster. So that's why I like to um take it and if my stomach bothers me, if I feel nausea, I go to the refrigerator, I pull me some up in like a, a tea tea cup or you know, or a coffee cup and warm it up and then I add a little honey to it. And it settles my stomach, even if like it's hurting or anything, it settles it. I mean, this stuff is just so good. It's just good to keep. And I like mine just like this. I like to boil it because I like it raw. Just like this potent, and this is what I like. I do get the tea bag sometimes, but I prefer my ginger done like this. Because I know it's straight ginger. Straight ginger, no chase. <laughs> y'all <laughs> hey guys how y'all doing it's good to see y'all again hey we've been out today she took me on to the farmer's market it wasn't what i was expecting but it was a pretty good album mm -hmm. me and my wife i enjoyed it yeah. i'm hungry now <laughs> time for me to get ready to eat <laughs> good to see you so my husband was saying about <laughs> The uh, farmer's market wasn't what he expect, what he was looking for. I think he thought, because we went to the farmer's market in Atlanta one time, and um, if any of you been there, it's huge, and it got like a lot to choose from, so that's what he was looking for. Doing all this while I'm cooking my ginger. Um, I thought I had got a card, but I guess I didn't. I wish I would have got one so I could show you guys 
but um the soap smells so good I don't forgot the name of this one but she make her um, own soaps and we got this from the farmers market but I forgot the name of it wow and my husband picked out this one it's peppermint I can't even see it's something on the back of that but I can't even see what it what it's saying I don't know but this is the peppermint one and it smells so good guys I think this is the one I'm gonna use today I'm gonna start on I think I'm gonna start on this one yeah since my husband picked that one out I, I'll start with that one so when we left there we went to um the Jacksonville flea market and um there was this lady and i don't know how i didn't know about her because she said she'd been there for two years and i don't know how i didn't know but when i tell y'all she got some nice stuff apparels and accessories um it say romaine's um, and she has like all the, the African stuff and the dashikis. And I, I was telling her, I can remember when I was young, um, my mom used to buy those dashikis and I used to love wearing that type of stuff. And I told her she's going to see some more of me because I'm going there to shop. I already see way I can get the type of stuff that I like to wear and the things you tie around your hair. Cause hey, I love that African style and she got the Bob Molly stuff. I mean, it's real nice. But this is her um her card. Yeah. Um I wish I could I'm bring it up. Maybe y'all can see it a little. You might can see it. But um she's at the Jacksonville flea market. And when I tell you she got such nice stuff, it's for adults and it's for children. It's nice. Real nice. She got, you know, purses. I mean I I don't know how I didn't see that place. But um yeah, it was an interesting day today. Interesting day today. Mm-hmm. Let me show y'all some of my vegetables that I got from the um farmers market. So I got me some of now these are fresh. The um cucumbers. And they fresh. I brought two from Walmart the other day and they was like I thought I was picking out the best ones, but I couldn't even hardly eat them. The taste wasn't right, and then it had mushy spots. Yeah, so I don't know what was going on, you know. And here's my tomatoes. Now, you could tell, she said they had just picked those, her and her um, kids had just picked these tomatoes. And I couldn't pass these up, because I love tomatoes, especially the fresh ones right out the garden. Mm, smell it. <laughs> And what I do, you know, this this is a vegetable for me with at dinner time or lunch, you know. I do my meat, whatever meat I'm having, and then I'll take and just wash my tomato, which I already washed these. I'll probably wash it again and just have it and slice it up. And that's my vegetable for whatever sitting it is. Or I'll do like sliced cucumbers. But I love having a cold a cold vegetable because it helped with my digestive system. Yes, it does. It helped. I, I don't like to eat everything hot. I got to have me something cold unless it's like a little a side salad with just maybe some of my lettuce or whatever. Um, some spinach and arugula. I put that on the side and put me a little dressing on there. That give me a cold vegetable to put in my stomach. Even if I do have a hot vegetable, I have a cold one too. And it just seems to help me, you know. But yeah, you know I like to share. So yeah, this is what I got. My little vegetables mm -hmm. that I had got. They had some very interesting um, stuff there. Yep. So guys, I think my tea about done had it. this here because this is going to be my store here so I'm going to make sure I put her card right there where I keep all my little stuff that means something <laughs> so guys thank you 
for clicking on this little video. I just wanted to come on and share what I had got, you know, from the um, farmer's market and chat with you guys for a little second, hang out, you know, how we do, we hang out together. <laughs> so guys, you continue enjoying your Sunday. And I will see you guys the next time I upload a video. Love you guys. Bye for now.